Howdy, everybody. It's your pal, Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy while I try Portillo's Italian Beef Sandwich. I think I got all that right. I am in Rockford, Illinois, and after taking consensus from my cousin Buffy, who lives in Illinois, and visiting the classrooms that I visited for my company today as part of my job, one of the strong recommendations was to go to Portillo's and get an Italian beef sandwich with cheese sauce was their recommendation. I also got some um, onion rings. Can't really see them there. So look, I just want y'all just for a second to take a look at this sandwich. Are you ready? What? I'm pretty excited about it. So first, let's try the onion rings. They also had like french fries and cheese fries and you know, different stuff like that. But I like an onion ring and I saw somebody get them and they looked pretty good. So I rarely eat ketchup. Like there are very, very few things in this world that I like to have with ketchup unlike other members of my family. Onion rings, tater tots, fish sticks. That's about it. But I also really don't want to eat any of those things without the ketchup. So first bite, no ketchup, just because it's a taste test. Okay, so I got this about 20 minutes ago. It was pretty close to the hotel. Came to the hotel, unpacked it, took some pictures because it was in its own plastic bag. Like it was in, you can't really see this cheesesteak thing. No, don't call it a cheesesteak. Call it an Italian beef, this Italian beef thing. It's got its own little paper wrapper and then... A big thing of paper, a <laughs> big thing of foil, and then all that was shoved in a plastic bag. And I was like, overkill, mm -mm. there's juice all over everything, and cheese all over everything. Now, I will be honest, I got the big one because, number one, I always get way too much food. <clears throat> and number two... I don't really care because I ain't paying for it. So if it's disgusting, I throw it away. And if it's brilliant, maybe I'll have some for tomorrow for lunch or something. Um, but back to these. So it's been 25 minutes. They're not hot. These things are still crispy. The onion is sweet. Mm. Let's put a little ketchup on it. See, I can eat these without ketchup. Can y'all hear that crunch? I feel like it's all I can hear. It's that big old crunch. Mmm. Those are going to be good. They're not going to be. Those are good. Those are some of the best onion rings I've had. Huh. That's crazy. They looked kind of like Sonic onion rings to me. Sonic uses like a panko crust. And that's sort of what this looked like because it's got like these little bits kind of hang off all over it. So I thought it'd be a nice crunchy onion and it is and it's sweet. And it's not one of those, not that I'm always mad about the ones where like the onion kind of disappears. But the onion is totally there both in flavor and in texture. But when you bite it, it releases. It's not one of those where you bite it and you go and you got the big old onion. That's gross. All right, so I don't even know where to begin. This thing, one, is huge because I got the big one, but two, I don't think I can do it and not be messy. I just, I don't think that's a combination that's going to happen. 
Ooh. Let's try the cheese sauce. Okay. This first bite I can already tell you is gonna be all bread and cheese. But we're still gonna do it. Bread and cheese. Mmm. And they got me napkins. Actually, I picked up the napkins. I went inside because I was told to either get the steak or a hot dog. And I'm not in Chicago, so it's not like I'd be getting a Chicago dog in Chicago. And I would not like a Chicago dog because I don't like tomatoes and they don't like me. Um, so I thought this steak would be better. super thin steak like just super thin it was very flavorful bite number two and still almost no meat in my mouth. <laughs> but, I will say that bread is good. It's soft. It's not too, even though those first few bites were just bread, it won't be like that for the rest of the set. Look at it now. Look at that amount of meat in there. That's a huge amount of meat. And you can see how the bread's not too thick, right? Like it's, it's thin bread. It's almost, I mean, they didn't hollow it out, but it's almost, I don't know. Looks good. We're just going to set this puppy down and um, we'll try to get him out of it. Mm. I told y'all this would be a messy one. That's good. Yeah. I mean, it's messy. It's cheesy. I'm not even going to lick them fingers yet. So I'm going to take another bite. So... That's a tasty sandwich. However, if you don't want to see me lick my fingers, stop watching. I don't know what that cheese is. It's not cheddar, but it's not... Like an American cheese. They just called it cheese sauce. It doesn't seem to have like as strong of a flavor as Velveeta. Really, to be honest, overall, the cheese itself is not... With all that cheese... Let me just tell you what I thought. I thought this is going to be a cheese sandwich with a little bit of meat in it. It's not. It is a meat sandwich. The cheese, although it is all over everything, it is all over the meat, it is all over the bread, it is in every bite that you take. The flavor of the cheese is not overpowering. It just gives it that really moist texture, which I could see maybe where that beef, you know, would get dried out. It's not. It's tender. I don't know what kind of meat it is. I don't think I've ever had meat sliced that thin on a sandwich. And it's just all clumped up together. Let's take some more cheese on it and see. Yeah, the cheese is a nice compliment. It doesn't overpower the meat. Look at that big old strand of meat. 
I wish y'all could see just how thin it was. Now, I've never had an actual cheesesteak either. Not from like Philly or, right? Isn't that where the cheesesteaks are from? From Philly? So I don't know what the difference is between this and a cheesesteak because it is cheese and steak. But, <laughs> but somehow, <laughs> Um, this one is called Italian Beef. So, for, for review, for review, for rating, same thing, for review, for rating. Um, oh, dang, we're already at like 10 minutes. Whatever, we these take a while. I tried so hard to get that last one done in under 10 minutes, it felt like I just rushed the ending. But, anyway. Onion rings? Four onion rings. Now, onion rings are not one of my favorite food, but four onion rings, those are like the best onion rings. Not the best. Fast food-wise, because it was kind of like a fast food place. Um, I went in because I didn't know what I was doing or what I wanted to get exactly. Um, I was told I needed to get the chocolate cake shake, that they literally take their chocolate cake and ice cream and just blend it together. Um, but two things about that. One, I don't like chocolate. And two, ice cream while I travel. Uh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Um, cheese will be fine. But ice cream, I don't want to risk it. So we didn't get that. We just got a Bark's Root Beer. <clears throat> so that it wouldn't have caffeine to keep me up. Which shouldn't happen because I've been going since 2.30 this morning. And I'm, I'm a little tired. And it's only like 5 something now. So, overall, I don't know what the difference is between this and a cheesesteak, like I was saying. I've never had a cheesesteak. The closest thing I can say is, like, I've had uh, Subway steak and cheese. Um, that's probably the most similar thing I've ever tasted, but the meat was not that thin. And there's something, there's like a, like a, what do you call it? Like, you don't, you don't caramelize meat. What do you do to it? Can you caramelize meat? But it's almost like it's so thin like, it's browned. I have no idea if any of this is... Ooh, did y'all see that flicker? Um, I have no idea if any of that's making sense. But it's like the meat is browned. And thin. And then just packed into this... Delicious sandwich. You just can't... You can't appreciate it for what it is. So, if you're ever in Illinois, I don't know if it's everywhere, but if you can find, what are they called? Portillo's? And you like steak, or you like cheese, that's good. Let's see. Out of five, I, could, I think I can finish this whole thing. I know I won't be able to, but right now I love it so much I feel like I could be able to finish it. Um, I really do like just steak sandwiches. Like like if I were to go to Subway, I'd get the steak and cheese. That's normally what I would get. Um, and there's been a few cheese steak places that I've tried. This is better than any of those. Um, I can't say that it's the best cheese steak. Stop calling it MSD. I don't know what the difference is. Somebody tell me in the comments below what is the difference between an Italian beef and a cheesesteak because I have no idea except for that it's meat and cheese on a bun Now they said you could do it with like uh, peppers and onions and I don't know I just want meat and cheese this is perfect for me so I don't know maybe one of the highest just overall food ratings again probably four to five for this uh, nine out of ten if you're doing ten it's it's good all day every day I'm as long as they're consistent, I would say, yeah, um, give it a go. The meal itself, which was the onion rings, the big cheese steak. No, stop. The big beef, beef steak? No. Italian beef. I hate that. They called it the big beef plus cheese sauce. Onion rings and a large drink came to $15 and 32 cents. So not inexpensive. I mean, this, the sandwich itself was 
$8.19 plus 85 cents for the cheese sauce. So about $9 just for the sandwich. <clears throat> but as a treat for a sandwich or if you're feeling really hungry, yeah, give it a go. Portillo's, Rockford, Illinois. Who knew? Um, so comment down below if you know the difference between the two or if you've ever had Portillo's or if you've ever had an actual cheese steak um, or, you know, whatever the differences are. Uh, like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you know how. And until next time, I'll see y'all real soon.